Welcome to another Detector Testers Toolbox Talk tip. This week I'm covering the Solo 365 and how to carry out a firmware upgrade. You're going to need a Solo 365 complete with smoke generator installed, the cartridge installed and a fully charged battery. You're also going to need the micro USB cable, there was one provided in the kit. On the battery there is a micro USB socket, the lead goes between that socket and your laptop or your PC. Okay, you join me seated in front of my Windows laptop, um, getting ready to do the firmware update on a Solo 365. So we start off in our browser and we search for the Detect Testers homepage. Clicking on the homepage. From the Detect Testers homepage, on the right hand side, there is a support menu, and beneath the support menu is a troubleshooting uh, submenu. So we click on there. This takes us to the product support menu. In the product support menu, you'll see amongst the various different products we manufacture, the Solo 365. So we're going to select that one. And that enables a little pop-out menu beneath, again, selecting Solo 365 to take us to the Solo 365 product support page. Scrolling down the Solo 365 support page, we come to a section all to do with carrying out a firmware update on your Solo 365. Basic instructions can be found here on the web page, which instructs you that all you need is a laptop or PC, ideally connected to the internet and um, Windows. You also need to have a micro USB cable, and it would be very useful to have your Solo 365 at a hand, uh, complete with a fully charged battery, smoke generator and smoke cartridge all installed. Now, um, there's enough information here to, to get you going, but should you want to know more information, there is a separate PDF file available down here, which is all to do with the utility, and it's the utility app readme instruction. So I'm just going to click onto that just to take you through that briefly. In the PDF file, you'll find more detailed uh, instructions on carrying out a firmware update, uh, information about uh, the um, compatibility with the various different Microsoft operating systems. And to go down a bit further, you've got a screenshot of the uh, 365 utility. And going down a bit further, uh, you've got all the detailed instructions to do with the installation. The 365 utility also has an additional functionality, which is to assist our technical support team. And this is the ability to collect um, additional data that can be emailed across. This is the event log from the unit. So this is, this is used in conjunction with help from our support team. So that's the SATA 365 utility. So let's back to the home page here. And that's download the Solo 365 utility. Um, the download is in a zip file. It's a very small zip file, as you can see, very quickly downloaded. And once we've downloaded the zip file, we're going to open it up and extract the various different files. Uh, there's only two files inside it. So we can extract them to a known location. I'm going to browse to my C drive and I'm going to create a new folder called Solo 365. Select that folder, extract those two files in there. And now we're in a position to run utility. It's a standalone executable. It doesn't actually install anything onto your computer other than the USB driver. So that's run it up for the first time. This is Microsoft Defender, uh, which is the antivirus software that comes standard with the uh, Windows 10. And it's basically telling us that it doesn't recognize this app. If you click on more info, uh, you have the option to run anyway, uh, because you could trust the app. So we click on run anyway. Obviously, if you use an alternative uh, antivirus software, then you may have to do something similar. At this stage, this is where it's about to install the USB driver for my particular laptop. So would I like to install it now? We say yes. Starts to download. Yep, we'll install the driver. 
click the usual buttons to go through the wizard and to finish off the installation of the driver. Now at this point, um, the app is now telling you that you need to do a restart of your computer uh, to before we can carry out the firmware update. So we'd click on yes, and that would start um, the restart of your computer. Okay, so my laptop has rebooted after installing the USB drivers to enable me to carry out the firmware update for Solo 365. Prior to running utility, I've uh, connected the micro USB cable between my laptop and the uh, socket, which is uh, the US micro USB socket, which is actually on the battery um, and plugged into the unit. Make sure the unit is turned on, powered on, USB cables connected, and then you can run up the utility. Okay, it just takes a, a few seconds to uh, communicate with the Solo 365, and there we have a successful connection to the Solo 365, giving a uh, serial number uh, and other details about that particular unit. Down the bottom there, there's a button that says Upgrade Firmware. We click on to there, and this is where it tells us what the current firmware version is, which is 1.38, and the newest firmware available is 1.4. One. So to perform the upgrade, click on the upgrade button. Yes, we do. And let it roll. So it now starts to upgrade the firmware. This just takes a few seconds or so to download the file. This is why it's important to make sure your battery is fully charged so that you don't have any loss of power halfway through firmware update. So there we go, 1.41 firmware being updated onto a SATA 365. And congratulations, your device has been updated. Okay, so that's the the steps that are involved in upgrading your firmware on your Soda 365. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or press that notification button and leave any comments. If you have any questions or comments for future uh, videos, please leave them below. And as always, if you have been watching, thanks for watching.